Hey there, welcome and welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Um, today I'm going to be continuing my um, weekly Nightwish videos. This time I'm going to be doing The Poet and the Pendulum. Um, this is a masterpiece. There's nothing else you can say about this song. It, it really is an absolute amazing, beautiful, heartbreaking song. Um, I do know all about the story. I do, I, you know, I'm this is about when they released this is about the time that i got into nightwish um dark passion play was my first nightwish album um that i loved and that's where I, like i said that's where i found really fell in love with nightwish um i know the all the story about the open letter i know about um taria's response to it i you know <laughs> it's it's horrible that such bad things had to happen for such an amazing um, piece of art to come from it. But this is an absolute masterpiece. It doesn't, it, this is, I love, I, I don't even know if I'd say this is my favorite Nightwish song, although it's close, I love the song, but it is the absolute pinnacle of everything. I mean, it is incredible. So I'm excited to get into this. Um, obviously, I know the song. I did pick the version with with the lyrics, which is when I watch tons of reactions. That's why I do reactions because I was a, I've always been a fan of reactions, or for the last several years. And nothing drives me crazier than seeing a reaction to this song without the captions on or doing the version that has the lyrics in it already. It it kills me because it's such an important song and the, and to really understand it you need to see it um, Nightwish is one of those bands that you probably should always have the captions on because you all because the poetry that they put out that Tuomas brings to each song is incredible but there's two songs that I feel it's mandatory to have the lyrics up and preferably on screen and that's this one and greatest show but so i'm definitely doing one with the with the um, lyrics on it even though i know the lyrics but when i'm watching a reaction i love to know that the people are seeing exactly what's being sung but anyways um enough of that i just i just wanted to say that because it's it always drives me crazy when i see a, a reactor react to the song without the lyrics being there and they just don't understand and you can't expect people who don't know the story to really understand but it's just it helps um real quick i do want to let y'all know i do have a patreon the link will be down in the description um, most of my reactions go up there at least a day in advance and if you do the um blades tier you get um two patron shout out requests every month um and even if you just do the one dollar just for signing up you do get a, a patron shout out request um, you can request anything you want, doesn't matter how obscure, how far out there you think it is. If you love it, I want to hear it. Um, I've found some really great music through my patrons, both old and new, which is really cool, finding some old stuff that I had missed in the past. Um, if you want to donate a little bit more directly, I do have a pay, uh, my PayPal and my Cash App down in the description, and you can use the Super Thanks through YouTube. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. It really is amazing. You, you guys are absolutely, just absolute rock stars. I appreciate everything you do for me. But anyways, let's get into this. This is a long one, as everybody knows. And this is absolutely a fantastic um, song. I mean, it's just an amazing journey. So here we go with Nightwish, The Poet, and The Pendulum. The visualizations on their screens during the song is absolutely magical.
Okay, I'm gonna back it up a little bit to catch that transition. This opening part, um, I apologize, I can't remember the the boy's name who sang this originally. Um, he's not a kid anymore. He's you know if this was 15 years ago or more. God, when was this? Was it 12? 2000? No, 2005. God, it was forever ago. Um, but anyways, I'm got off track. Um, his voice is amazing. It's you feel it. You feel the emotion of this this child's voice. He is was a, a phenomenal singer. I'd love to find out if he continued singing um, into adulthood, but it's amazing and I love the fact that Tuomas kept his part in the beginning because I believe in the original studio version um, he did both this beginning part and the middle part but um, when Floor came in she's able to sing it but even though she's able to sing would, would be able to sing this beginning part as well Tuomas decided no let's keep this version of the beginning and let floor do the middle part but it's the, his this kid's voice was phenomenal it's just it it pierces you it's so good i also love that it starts with the end storm begins. I love all the pendulums. The swing back and forth. He's driving. I love that drop when she starts headbanging just for like four beats she headbangs and I every time I hear this song I just I have to headbang with her I've, I've never been able to do the her um, windmill but I definitely love the headbang um, I love the textures that Floor puts into this song um, I love the original and I'm not saying this to start comparing singers Everybody knows my opinion on all three singers. I love all three of them. I'm a huge fan of Annette. Um, but the textures that Floor puts into this, with the little bit of growl she put in there in that one line, and just, it's so good. She is such an absolutely beast of a singer. And as I've told y'all many times, she is my favorite singer of all time. Um, I, in my personal opinion, she is the greatest singer on the face of the planet. Um, I just can't get enough of her. But <laughs> I love all that texture. And I mentioned the bass line. It's not complicated. It's not like he's go, you know, Marco's not going all over the place. It's just a single note, but it drives and it's constant, and it, constant 
And through that section, it never stops. You can't help but feel the bass in your chest. It's so good. Sorry, Thomas, I can't not praise you. I know that's the whole point of those lines is like, please stop. I'm not, you know, he's basically saying that, you know, almost, I'm, I'm definitely putting words in his mouth and this isn't like word for word, but it kind of what it feels like to me when he's, when with those words is that I've made huge mistakes in my life. Please stop praising me. Um, let me be let me just fall back and let me be for for a while because i know the emotions i i'm it's hard to say i understand because nobody really understands um as is in the poetry for song of myself um how can you really say i know how you feel how can anybody know how another person feels but i I get where he was at at that point in his life and he needed he's like please stop I I I need you to stop and I understand and, and it, it just makes so much sense I love the waves. You can feel the waves are so big in the background. You can feel them. You almost feel yourself moving. The beautiful orchestration. Before we get back to the storm, 
Um, that whole section is unbelievably beautiful. It's just the the words, the voice, the the orchestration. The, you, know, you got that cello going, and the, the, the flute, and the clarinet. They're just just individual instruments peeking out as it goes, and his you see his face and you can tell how hard it is for him to relive this. This is, I know he's in a better place now. And, but at the time when it originally happened, he was in so much, he was in such a bad place and it's just so impressive that you can get this much beauty out of that much pain. Um, it's so amazing. <sighs> Now the storm begins. The, the, the brass. I'm afraid, so afraid, being raped again and again and again. I know I will die alone, but loved. You live long enough to hear the sound of guns. Believe me, I know the significance of the three minutes. Look at those clouds. So much aggression. Kai is just a freaking metronome. Hits. Everyone must bury their own to break the barrack, the heart of stone. Now is in hell, serves him well. Say, but now, don't enjoy his farewell. I want to stop it there. That's this whole section is so mean, it's so aggressive, it's just dark, and it's just just hits you. Uh, Marco's voice is just so perfect for it. It's 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 such an amazing section of you've had this such a beautiful song and then you have this part right here that is just absolutely just going it's so good um and now floor is about to come back in but it's just and the 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 um the bass work he's doing on you can see his hand right here he's just not looking he's just he knows it he's doing it as he's singing it's just impressive A bit of growl in there. I'm gonna 
stop it real quick and go back to that phrase. The I cannot die, I whore for the cold world is such a strong lyric. And it's so visual and thick and just, it just, you can't get away from it. And the way she's about to sing it, I just wanted to point this out before she gets to it. The third time she says it is just, she spits it out and it's just, you can just, it's so visceral. I love the way she ends this phrase. I love that line. One for the world, one for God's sake. Three minutes. Exactly in that heartbeat. Three full beats and a half beat. Three full beats and a half beat. That's so. That's scary. It's scary. Just, first of all, the logistics of writing a song where you can predict three, you know, three minutes in the future exactly three minutes in the future this line right here of that of the spoken word part a smile on his or a smile on his face a pen and a thousand pages of erased text i found find that so telling and so important that it's not a pen and ten and a thousand pages of blank you know blank pages a thousand pages of erased text what could have possibly been written on those thousands of pages that would have changed the world of music at least just imagine what is in his brain that he doesn't bring forward he's Tuomas is just an absolute genius it's incredible what he does it's incredible save me almost a scream, a cry, save me. And the three and a half heartbeats. And then the, the rest of the song is just beautiful. Kai is just... It's not a complicated beat he's doing, but he's just all in it. And having Floor, Marco, and Impu sitting on the drum riser. Almost as if they're sitting around a living room trying to comfort their friend who is going through an amazing, an amazing problem.
to go back on that. Um, it's weird. A lot of the people that I wa have watched react to this, and I've watched this hundreds of times, seeing people react to it, and so many people don't realize Marco's singing right there too. Marco joins her right there. And their voices mix so perfectly. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing how well their voices mix in this section. Sorry, I'm stopping a lot. Watching Tuomas sing his heart out to nobody. There's no mic. Nobody can hear him. There's too much sound around. Even the front row can't hear him. But he is screaming out those lyrics. It's just, it's heartbreaking almost. Not almost, it is. that it begins with the end and ends with the beginning. so good and I've got to stay, stay. Thank, you. thank you oh my god that was so good um, that was um, Nightwish with the Poet and Pendulum there's just nothing you can say about that song it is amazing Doug and Andre came to suddenly had to add start playing randomly um yeah it's hard to say anything about this song it is an absolute masterpiece there's no just talk about it musically there's no fat on it every single note is necessary and every single note any any missing section of that song would make the song incomplete. It's just amazing. I can't believe how how good Tuomas is at composing and writing. Not to mention putting that much emotion into a 13 minute song. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. God, it's so good. Um, but anyways. I love that song. I love it. I loved it when Annette sang it. I love it even more now. It's just an amazing accomplishment. Um, all the guys absolutely killed it. Floor, of course, did amazing things with it. So good. If y'all like this video, give it a like. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, if you can do me a favor, just even if you don't have anything sp specific to say, hop down in the comments, say hi, whatever, throw, throw up some horns. Um, that helps the YouTube algorithm 
realize that maybe they sh it should push me out to a bigger audience, maybe draw more eyes onto me, help me grow my channel. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you next time.